Okay guys, the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone which you are watching right now and in this video we will be talking about on how you can install the Thunderbolt custom mom firmware in your Galaxy S3. So before you proceed first up you need to ensure that your device is rooted and to check that you need to download the root checker application from the Google Play Store. So we are already having the APK. Let's check out the same whether the device is rooted or not. So this is the root checker, uh, checker application. It's now verifying the root access. As you can see that, the congratulations, the device has root access. That means I can go and proceed to install this firmware. So now, once your device is rooted, you need to now download the ROM manager application from Google Play Store. Once you download it, open the same. But before this, you need to download the zip package which is mentioned just below this article. Head over to the link and in the procedure section you will be getting to see the Thunderbolt zip package which you need to place the same in the external SD card of your device. Once you have placed it, disconnect the phone from the computer and turn off the, on, turn off the device to enter the into recovery mode or probably you can enter into recovery mode via the ROM manager app. So now select the option of reboot into recovery mode in your S3. If you are getting any such request of super user, just tap on grant. So this is a recovery mode. So now all you need to do is select the option of wipe data or factory reset with the help of volume rocker keys and the power button. So as to clear all the cache data. And up next, select the option of cache data. So once it's done, you'll be getting to see the same in the at the bottom of the screen that the cache wipe has been complete and the data wipe has been complete. Now I go to the advanced option with the help of volume down rocker key and then select wipe Dalby cache. Once it's done, you will get to see the message that Dalby cache has been wiped. Now go back to select the option of install zip from SD card. And then select the option of choose zip from SD card. After that, all the files which are there in your SD card will be listed over there. From which you need to select Thunderbolt ROM version 1.zip. With the volume rocker keys and press the power button to confirm the same. You can see that the installation process has now been initiated. Thunderbolt ROM inspired by nature. Now let's proceed by clicking on or tapping on next. You can choose from custom installation by selecting the kernel and modem of your choice. And also in the file manager options, we have got two options, ES file manager or solid explorer. So let's go with solid explorer, so there is something new from ES explorer. Once you have selected, tap on next, then you have got to choose the launcher out of Nova Launcher, Apex Launcher, Jelly Bean Stock Launcher, Touches UX Launcher and Expedia Launcher. Let's go with Touches UX Launcher. The best part here is you can choose a launcher. I mean choose multiple launchers in fact. Now tap on next and then you have got choose the music player as well from Google Play Music or Apple Music. Let's go with Google Play Music. 
should stun, tap on to the next and then again the DSP manager the next so now you are now ready to proceed for the installation process just tap on install now as you can see that a navigation bar is being shown it will take quite some time for installing the firmware as you can see that here installed solid explorer jlb launcher touch ux launcher google play music Apple Music Player, DSP Manager, CR Panel, and also the modem which is DXLG2 based is now being installed. So I it's mentioning that now let's get both this for mining cache, wipe type cache, enjoy Thunderbolt ROM. That means the installation process is now completed. Step on next. It's asking us to reboot the device. Okay. Proceed. Tap on finish. Now device will now be rebooted. Please note that it will take quite a while for rebooting the device. That because the first time after installation of custom home firmware. It will take quite a while for rebooting the device. So as you can see that directly the home screen has arrived, wherein it's telling us to select the launcher now. So as you can see that this is a Jelly Bean wallpaper by default. So I've got a bunch of new applications like Apollo or some beat which is of beat audio where you get many options for selecting the audio experience and then you've got Dolby mobile and then headset selection and then other applications like play music which is of google you've got s tweaks so there are a bunch of applications which are already there which comes by default in this device let's check out the firmware version by tapping on the menu button and then on settings head over to the bottom most part of the screen the select option of about phone wherein you will get to see the build number that is the thunderbolt rom version 1 So here it is, so let's check out what the wallpapers also it comes with. As you can see that all the wallpapers which are there over here are of Jelly Bean build. Let's check out the dialer how it is. The dialer is by default, it is a default one, there is no change whatsoever in the dialer. In the contacts again it seems to be same the browser is a default one and then you have got an additional app called ext tweaks ensure that if it's asking for the soap user you need to grant the same so you also got the bunch of applications wherein you can play with the processing speeds and all but again that's a risky thing so it's better that you don't Go ahead and increasing the processing speed. So for the Dolby Mobile, 
So again, enable or disable uh, Dolby Surround Sound Music feature in this. So that's it. There are no more new future, new features which are available over here, apart from audio and visual mods. So I also got the themes themes option in this device. You can choose from two themes that is touches and the default one so this is a touches theme as you are seeing it right now this is a google now app so it's pretty much same as compared with the stock one so that's it from us stay tuned for more updates